My dear brothers and sisters, if we could divide our reflection today into two parts. I'd like to see how the first part of the gospel is the disciples returning back to their master after a well accomplished mission. They were rejoicing, they were happy, they were so filled with joy because their mission was successful. They were able to cure diseases, they were able to bring healing upon people. Most importantly, they said even the devils were submitting to us when we used your name. This is the powerful name of Jesus in which the disciples worked wonders. Those wonders continue to be worked today, my dear brothers and sisters. Each time in faith we use the name of Jesus. We must admit for a fact, nothing we really do on this earth is without the invocation and the intervention of Jesus himself. And therefore we have to thank God for the gift of his son Jesus to us, who continues to work wonders in our lives. But he goes on to tell them, don't just rejoice at the great things you do on earth. Rejoice ever more and even more because your names will be written in heaven. That is the ultimate goal for each one of us, my dear brothers and sisters. Not just to be successful as far as the works of the Lord are concerned here on earth, but to be the privileged ones to have our names written in heaven. This is the invitation the Lord extends to each of us. The choice is entirely ours to accept it or not. The second part of our reflection today is the great joy that these disciples had not only in listening to Jesus, but on acting on every word that he spoke. And he goes on to say how happy indeed you are, because you had this opportunity to have eyes that see what you see. And there were prophets who came before that, who never had that opportunity to see what they saw or to hear what they heard. I believe Jesus continues to make his presence felt in our midst even today. His spoken words through the scriptures, he continues to act through so many people, he continues to be in our midst. Hopefully we will not lose that opportunity of encountering Christ. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.